rather go out in a blaze of glory. I can't hear you. I don't feel you. mushroom. This is a deadly poisonous mushroom and I posed with it for some TikToks. Like, who poses with a deadly poisonous white mushroom for a TikTok? <laughs> Am I in the middle of the woods in a fort that I built um, reading poetry uh, by myself when it's uh, raining? Uh, I mean, I guess. Come now and follow me down, down to the lights of Galway where there's fine sailors walking the town. Run along now, don't be glum Get you gone now, have some fun Don't be long for the end is now Don't be sad, go get a tattoo 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 Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a mushroom TikTok, but I wanted to show you one of my favorite fall mushrooms that's been popping up in my yard recently. This is the dye ball, also known as dead man's foot fungus or dog turd fungus, and well, you can see why it's called dog turd fungus. This mushroom has distinctive yellow mycelia and is really cool because it forms mycorrhizal relationships with almost any plant. Foresters and gardeners use it as a soil inoculant to promote plant and tree growth. 
Even though it's kind of ugly on the outside, when you cut this mushroom in half, its spore-bearing surface, called the gleba, shows a beautiful mosaic pattern. When it's young, the surface is covered in a tar-like substance that can be used as a pretty potent dye. With different dyeing processes, the dye ball can make a whole range of colors from brown to purplish red, but my favorite is this beautiful yellow color. When it's older, this mushroom dries up into a mass of spores that can explode into the air upon contact from human or animal, which is how it reproduces. Okay, so multiple people asked for a tutorial and I already kind of started. So basically you just cut out like a bunch of different strips of cardboard. You just kind of like fit it to how you want it to sit on your head and like make little things. Yeah. And you like trace your headpiece thing um, and make like a disc. Okay, so now you have this donut thing and you're going to like basically just duct tape the headpiece inside the hole. And now a hat thing. More strips of cardboard. Then you just start to build like this little round cage thingy that is taller up and makes like the shape of the mushroom. And then at that point, you just kind of do whatever you want with the fabric or, you know, basically any kind of mushroom you want. I kind of went it for like a wedding veil type of situation. Um, it's definitely not done yet, but here it is so far. <laughs> My trip to the grocery store today turned into a rescue mission when I found this poor little bonsai. Yep, those rocks are literally glued to the surface and no drain holes, so help was definitely in order. I carefully began to dismount it, put those pieces aside for later, found a much superior draining bonsai dish and bonsai specific soil, made a giant mess, the hammer- It's on your brain, you probably hope it never would end. Like is it the real thing, or is it just a one night stand? Well then, let me see you get high and go low. Now girl, won't you drop that thing down to the floor? 